So this is a nice little vertex chuck I've bought for my rotary table. But I've got the problem if I turn a part in the lathe, then relocate the part into this chuck, there's always a little bit of run out. I can never get the part to run quite true. So my grand plan is to make a back plate that means I can use this chuck in both the lathe and the rotary table, which means I can swap it back and forth without ever having to disturb the part. And you can see the profile of the back plate that I'm going to try and make in this animation. This is a picture of a cylinder head I made for a model engine. I've lost count of how many times it was transferred between the lathe and the rotary table, but each time I transferred it, I introduced a bit of error and I was never really happy with the part. With a bit of luck, the back plate that I'm about to make will stop this happening again. Crucially for this to work, the diameter of the bore on the back plate has to be a really nice fit with the flange on the lathe spindle. And to get the diameter for the back plate bore, I'm going to use one of the chucks that came with the lathe as a reference point. So now I've got that measurement, I can start cutting some steel. Well, given that I was aiming for 52.0 mil, I have to say I'm pretty happy with that. So just before I take it out of the chuck and start work on the mill, I'll just break the sharp edges. With that done and out of the way, I'll then find the centre of the part using the edge finder, and then I can drill and tap the bolt holes that will ultimately attach the part to the lathe. <laughs> And when I do fit this part on the lathe, I need some way of stopping the spindle rotating whilst I tighten these bolts. So I'm just going to mark out three holes with a DRO, then drill them. All things being equal, I should now be able to attach this to the lathe spindle. The next thing is to create the shoulder that will locate the lathe chuck. That should be just a fairly straightforward job. Although slightly annoyingly, the register's only 3mm deep, and that's too shallow to be able to use a micrometer on, so instead I'm going to have to use the calipers. Using the calipers is far from ideal, but they'll give me a good indication of when I'm getting close, and then I can just take off tiny cuts at a time until I get a good fit. Now all I need to do to finish up is to drill and tap the three bolt holes that will be used to secure the lathe chuck in place. And I have to say I'm really happy with this result. I'm getting a run out of about 0.03mm at about 50mm away from the lathe jaw chucks. And I don't think that's as bad. I think that's probably as good as I can really hope for. Well, unless you've been in the same position as me, and you've also been trying to fit an 80mm chuck onto a lathe flange that doesn't fit the chuck, then you probably didn't find this entirely fascinating. But if you did find this useful, and you did like the video, then please click the like button and please subscribe.